What's good YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zay and I bring you guys a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you guys an updated sneaker collection. I did one like a year ago, but I've gotten some shoes since then. And I just wanted to show you guys and update you guys on that. Let's just start with the shoes on my feet. Alright, so I got these triple red Air Force Ones. Just go watch that video if you want to see me review these. Yeah, ain't nothing too crazy. Just the all red, triple red shoes, you feel me? I barely started wearing these again. I didn't wear them for like three months. So they've just been sitting up there. Yeah, so these aren't everyday shoes. Throw them on once in a while, you know what I'm saying? Once you're wearing red. Like now, nah, I'm wearing a black hoodie, black pants, red hat, and red shoes. You know what I'm saying? So you could throw it on with something like that. But yeah, overall, I rate these shoes. Um, Honestly, I'd say like an 8 out of 10. Um, only because it's like just too much red so like when you're far away it just looks like a blur They look cartoonish when you're like from far away or if when you're taking pictures Um, it just looks like a red blur so that's like the only downside to them But yeah, so other than that these ones are pretty hard Alright, so moving on we got the all black paper max plus But I just noticed when I did that transition that these shoes are really light They're really light on your feet The only downside to these shoes pretty much is like how they get scratched like that And honestly you just get a towel and scrape them off like that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, these shoes are hard. I pretty much only wear these when I wear all black. I don't know why. That's just like the only time I really wear these. Yeah, I talked about these shoes for a whole nother video. So if you guys want to go check that out again, go check that out. Ain't nothing too crazy about these. Honestly, I'll rate these like a 10 out of 10. These are like probably my favorite shoes in my collection, but I might say that about more. All right, and these ones are like the holy grail. These are always the number one in my shoe collection. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should already know what these are. You know what I'm saying? We got the white girls, you feel me? These are like the best shoe of all time. You can tell that these ones are beat. Um, crease, you know what I'm saying, pretty much worn. I like my forces a little dirty, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why, but it's just me. It just looks like an aesthetic, you feel me? Uh, all white is nice too, but also like it's not too bad when they get a little dirty because, you know what I'm saying, it, it kind of puts the fit together a little bit. My girlfriend Emma got me these for her anniversary and I just been wearing them, you know what I'm saying? And so you already know about the Air Force One, I ain't gotta speak on this too much. I'm only giving this one a 10 is because I buy these nonstop and it's my favorite shoe in the whole world, you know what I'm saying? So another pair of Air Force Ones that I haven't worn, but I actually customized these. I didn't make a video when I customized these just because I knew it was gonna take long and I didn't wanna like mess up. Back with Air Force Ones, um, I was like, I think I was like 15 or 16 when I did this and I was trying to sell them and nobody wanted to buy them. So my dad, I guess he felt bad and he just bought them for me. I found him just chilling in the shoe box in his cabinet in his room. So I just took them and I was saying, I was like, I'm gonna hang these up. You know what I'm saying? Just the all white pair of Air Force Ones with the backwood customization on it and the red aglets. You know I'm saying these aren't that bad, honestly. Maybe in the future I might buy these back from him and wear them. But I don't know, I also want to keep them like this forever. I think these were my most recent review, but I got the Lux Peak on Air Force One. Honestly, I've been thinking about selling these, but also I kind of like them just because like a little bit on the fancier side. You know what I'm saying? The gum bottoms and everything. So uh, I'm still thinking about if I should sell them or not. Uh, just let me know if you guys had these in your collection, if you were keeping them or not. Again, if you want to see a review about this, you know what I'm saying? Go check out the video. It's just the brown inside. The, I think it's tan or brown. I'm actually colorblind. I'm not too sure on all the colors. I just know they got the gold aglets, which is really nice. This, the skin on the shoes, bro, the material on these shoes, I like because if you crease them, it's not that noticeable just because there's already like a bunch of lines in there. Another good shoe. I want, I'll give this one like a nine out of 10. The only reason it's missing a point is because these shoes are really hard to wear an outfit with. Like, I, you gotta find the right outfit to wear with these because, you know, sometimes you might think the outfit's hard, but when you put it on, you just gonna take it right off, you feel me? All right, so these next shoes are called the Air Force One First Use. Um, I honestly, I've worn them like a handful of times. I already creased them though. But yeah, I made a video on how to lace these and I made a review about these also. Like I said, I do reviews on all my shoes. They were laced differently. They were laced like across like that together, but I, but I made a video on how to, the half and half type of thing. As you got, if you guys can't tell, my shoes are a little bit dirty because I really don't clean my shoes like that because I rotate them so they don't get that dirty. But I need to start, I need to at least give them a clean, like at least once a month, you feel me, because I haven't been keeping up on them. But yeah, I, my favorite part about this shoe is this gold thing right here. I don't know what it's called, I think it's like a lace log or something, but my favorite part is that. But all around these shoes are hard. Again, this is another shoe that you can't wear every day, but when you do, it's fire, you feel me? Alright, these next shoes, I don't know why I still have them, but I keep them to like humble myself. Because I remember when I had zero dollars to my name, I didn't even have a job or anything. But yeah, my mom bought me these. Um, these are just regular Cortez. So I actually got these shoes when we moved back from Carlsbad, New Mexico to back to Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, I was really depressed in Carlsbad. We moved back and I was just happiest I've ever been, you know what I'm saying? I was just chilling and then I bought these. So yeah, this just kind of leaves me like a good memory. I guess that's pretty much why I keep them. But you could tell the camera really does them justice. Like they're just messed up. I don't know if you guys could tell, but yeah, I just keep these just for remembrance. So this next shoe is, it has the second most viewed video on my channel. Uh, it's these, I don't even know what they're called, but these just these Air Max 90s. These were my favorite shoes in my collection until I spilled coffee on them on right here. And you guys can see this material. There's no getting that coffee spill out. And honestly, they just turned into gym shoes. But yeah, when these were brand new, these were so fire. 
and you know what I'm saying I just missed the days and they were brand new I might have to buy me some new ones but honestly I'm really not a fan of Air Max 90s like that so I probably won't I'm gonna rate these shoes like an 8 out of 10 I don't know if I rated the last shoe before this but those ones were also like an 8 out of 10 for me but yeah this is the cool shoe you know what I'm saying red, white, and blue, I think, or purple. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? I really don't know. All right, yo, and I think these are my last shoes only because the other shoes I have are like three other pairs of white Air Force ones that are all beat. So, yeah, I got these ones. Honestly, this one was an impulse buy because I really wanted to buy shoes that day, but I was late for driving school. So, I was like, yeah, just give me those. You feel me? I didn't want to go home or nothing. I'm really not that much of a fan of these, but when I throw them on out of nowhere, sometimes they just like hit hard. I'm like, yeah, I mess with these, but that's rare. Uh, honestly, these ones are beat. I haven't cleaned them in like a year. Cause I don't, I haven't wear them that much. But yeah, let me know if y'all will be interested in a shoe cleaning video and let me just like doing a QA and a while cleaning my shoes or something like that. Cause I'll do that for y'all. Uh, I need to get some new laces for these, but yeah, um, honestly, I'm gonna rate these like a six out of 10. No, honestly, I'll rate these like a seven and a half out of 10 because sometimes they're good and sometimes they're just not even. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Let me know what kind of videos you guys wanna watch and I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>